Justin, it is the moment of truth. We're gonna test and see if we hooked it up right. You wanna hit that button? So we're in the garage. We got the sandbox in here with shop manager Preston. And we got something in the mail last night. Can you pull that out, bud? Get off. Here we go. I'm gonna get sick. This is a kit that we got from K Suspensions, specifically designed for Next J. If you recall in the last video, you know, the sandbox was overheating. Now that is a typical issue with all XJs, especially when you're rock crawling because you don't have the like, highway speed air going through the grill to cool the engine. You're crawling, so it's just the fan. And we are going to wire this up so that we can manually turn on the auxiliary fan. Now what will the auxiliary fan help do? Make it not Look. overheat. I have the wire harness positioned in the Jeep. So the red wire is going to connect to the terminal here. I'm going to try to reuse a screw right down there that you cannot see, but I can see with the ground. Tie that into the Jeep. And this is going to get zip tied all the way back. It runs all the way in the back of the Jeep. And over here, the blue wire is going to snake around and tie into the auxiliary fan right here. And then the red, white, and black wires, these three, are going to go through the firewall, which I think I can go through right down there into the cab of the Jeep where we'll have a switch where we can turn on the fan manually. That's the goal. It is still insanely hot and I'm dripping. Preston, how are you doing? You getting hot? Do you need to cool off? I'm good. Can you say you're good with a convincing thumbs up? I'm good. You're good? Okay. Way too hard to do on camera with one hand, but I was able to mount this to the side of the Jeep using that existing screw. The red wire will now be tied to the battery terminal. I'm going to hold off on doing that. I poked a hole into the rubber gasket and I fished the wire through it. And on the other side of the wire, came across and tied it around the white wire to start. I'm going to use this wire to be able to pull this through the gasket and I'll rinse and repeat for the red and black wires. I feel like I deserve kudos because that worked amazingly well. So I'm proud of myself guys. I really am. And yes I have a race neck fan on because there's a bajillion degrees in here. Have all the wires fed through and now we need to attach the blue wire. Okay. Yeah, we're going back now. Hey, fancy seeing you here. Alright, Presto. You want to take control of the camera? We need to fish these under here. We're going to remove the ashtray and the 
that's where we're gonna install the switch. Can you hold it for a second? Do you wanna try to remove it and pop out? Do you see any screws in there that need to be undone? I don't think there is. I think it's just the your force to get that out. My force, okay. Daddy strength? Okay. Yeah. I can tie it up pretty good right here. Keep on doing it until the... I'm gonna hold it. Alright, say so open sesame. Open sesame. Alright, there we go. Pass tray out. Alright, and we're through. Let's uh, cut it right here in the middle. Going back now, Preston. The wires are just that long where they just where you can put it where you want to. Yep. Yeah. Better to have uh, extra wire than the short wire. red wire connected to the terminal. Go on ahead and put some zip ties. Got it zip tied all the way around. Listen, it is the moment of truth. We're gonna test and see if we hooked it up right. You wanna hit that button? Oh, that's green. Ooh, I hear some noise. I hear some noise. Nice. On. We now have control of it. Preston, it worked. It worked. We are master mechanics. Do you want it? Need to turn it off now? Sure. Nice. Hey, fist bump. We said the fan last week wasn't broken. Yeah, the fan. Yeah, good point. The fan works and wasn't broken. All right, bud. That's it. Yeah.